Hey guys, so uh, Tarsum Sings New Movie Selfless is a contained sci-fi thriller about a guy, Ben Kingsley, who's old and super rich uh, and dying because he's old and super rich. He finds this doctor, or this doctor finds him, who uh, gives him the opportunity to live again by transferring his consciousness from his own body into this young, lab-grown Ryan Reynolds body that's like perfect, right? Because it's Ryan Reynolds. He'd have to change his name and go have a completely different life, but he'd get to keep all his money and he'd get to do it all over again. This movie is not very good. Tarsum is best known for his giant spectacles, uh, visual spectacles in movies like Immortals and The Fall and The Cell and other movies starting with The. He is known for creating these giant visual spectacles, uh, which this movie doesn't do. And I was really interested in this movie because of that, because Tarsum was stepping out of his comfort zone uh, and, and doing something small and contained and a story um, that, that had a lot of potential. You know, it's a question that we all ask ourselves and it's an interesting sort of contained sci-fi scenario in the vein of something like Ex Machina. But unfortunately, it gets too caught up in sort of the stereotypical Hollywood thriller model of we need to turn this into like an action movie uh, and not actually deal with the premise at hand uh, in any sort of deep and meaningful and interesting way. So, of course, Ryan Reynolds' body ends up uh, having born like identities where he has the ability to like kill people and and he's basically a super spy uh, in, in his body memory that part of it does not make sense with the the set, setup they the, with the setup of, of how he took over uh, Ryan Reynolds body in the first place the science of it isn't very well fleshed out or explained which wouldn't be a problem if the rest of the movie sort of held up entertainment wise but it doesn't because the movie isn't a visual a giant visual spectacle um, the cinematography is very contained and, and the, the the design of it is very contained and that's nice but it just it, it doesn't it doesn't elevate the movie either so it really really falls on the script and the storytelling um, to really hold your attention and it just doesn't deliver it sets up a lot of expectations that it leaves you still hanging with uh, it's not a particularly high octane well crafted like born identity sort of action movie and it's also not like a weighty uh intellectual um smart piece of like hard science fiction it's just kind of awkwardly stuck in the middle and because of that it it sits for me in this land of like casually mediocre i think it's worth checking out if you're interested in sci-fi and it does do some things really well, it presents some really good questions and it has some really nice twists and, twists and turns. There is one very big sequence uh, with, the, with Victor Garber and his family in this big car chase. That, that in and of itself is really, really worth watching. It's really well, it's really tightly crafted both writing and visually and performance wise. So there's about 20 minutes of this movie that are like really nice to check out for that like kind of spy action thriller genre of things. If you're a huge Ryan Reynolds fan, it's a totally fun movie to check out on a Sunday afternoon if it's free or if you're on a plane. But otherwise, I would not spend money on watching this movie. I'm really sorry. Everyone involved, I'm sure, did a really, really large amount of work, but it's just, it's just not worth it. I think Tarsum was trying to break out of his uh, big, spectacle movie guy thing and do uh, something different and really open up the kinds of movies that he's able to direct. But it left me kind of wanting to see giant spectacle instead. And, and I'm not even a fan of, I, I, I love The Fall and I love The Cell, but I'm not a huge fan of some of his other movies because he sacrifices story for visuals. Um, and that's something that like you guys at this point know that frustrates me about Zack Snyder as well, where it's like, yes, the visuals are super impressive, but tell me a story. He doesn't really do that well enough in this for me to believe that he can do anything other than big spectacle. Uh, and maybe that falls a little bit more on the script, but I feel like as a director that's still his responsibility if he sees that there are weaknesses in the script to help elevate or fix those before they go shoot. That's his job. So that's what I thought of Selfless. I also got to go to the junket and I asked everybody if they would want to live forever because that to me is the most interesting part of this movie. So check that out here. Otherwise, subscribe to Cinefix for more awesome movie news. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you thought of the movie if you did get to see it. And uh, like this video because I said so. 
see Ryan Reynolds feels the same way I do about this movie. He's like, oh, I'm kind of sad. 